is the first day that I have felt normal. Not myself. Like a normal person looking forward to a day. I haven't been like that since... Since when? Since I crashed my airplane. Stick to the plan. We get everything we want. The plan. Mm -hmm. What's the plan? I don't remember what the plan. <laughs> All right, oh. coffee. I'm gonna make it. Oh, I scorch my pot. I'm not gonna. Oh, I'll scorch your pot. Really? <laughs> did this relocked the door so someone came in here did that and then locked the door when they left rose whoever did this had a key a key no somebody that we know could never do something like this right oh yes of course they would. They can't leave us alone for one night. Rose, I am so sorry. I just wanted to have a normal life, you know? I wanted to sell my business. I wanted to get things straight with my family, and I wanted to get married. That was it. You win. You win! We're leaving tonight. No. Yes. No, nobody's running us out of town. Who are you calling? Who do you think I'm calling? <sighs> Hello, Barbara, it's me. Grab Jennifer and get over here right now. I do not appreciate being summoned. <gasps> oh my God, what happened? You tell me. What? You think Jennifer had something Actually, to do with this? Actually, my world? first thought was that you did it, Mother, but then I thought a little more and I, I figured... If you had done it, it wouldn't have been in spray paint. It would have been scrawled in blood. Come on, Jen. We don't have to stand for this. Wait, Paul, listen. I, I know after hearing that tape, you probably think I am capable of anything. But I swear to you, I had nothing to do with this. Please, come on. You have to believe me. Well, that might have worked a long time ago. But whoever did this had a key. I'm giving you one last chance to come clean before I call the police. The police, son, would laugh at you. How many keys to this place are floating around? What, Rosanna? Craig, yeah. the realtor. Can't picture Who Rosanna else? pushing the sofa over there and, and high heels climbing up there, spray painting her own walls. But thank you for, for mentioning her because I should give her a call. She is the owner of record. Oh, she's going to love this, that her penthouse was trashed. No, Paul, do not call Rosanna. She could break your lease. Doesn't matter. I'm leaving town anyway. You know, Rose, maybe this was your handiwork. I know you've been doing everything you oh, possibly can to my, I can't town. take it anymore. Just call the cops. This is your last chance before I call Jack Snyder. Fine, have it your way. But the last I heard, Jack Snyder's not your biggest fan. Don't call the cops. It wasn't Mom's fault. It was me. I did it. You spray painted my walls? Why? Well, isn't it obvious? He's hurt. He feels abandoned you know because you're leaving him and moving Barbara, away. I will ask you for your opinion. That way, Paul. Come here. Come here. What's going on? Mom's right. I was mad. I'm sick of everybody fighting and not being able to talk to you and everybody leaving. That's fine, but why didn't you just say something to me? When? You're always with her. Well, you know that you're always welcome here, don't you know that? Sure, did this alone? I don't care. You got what you wanted. You stole my brother. You know, honey, you're still gonna see your brother? He's moving to Paris, Mom. Oh, yeah, but you can email him, you can call him. It's not home. the same. No, I know it's not the same, but you still have me, your sister, and, you know, Dougie's having that Halloween party. Mom, I'm not a baby. I don't care about Halloween. I don't care about anything anymore.
smell syrup. Well, maybe so, but I think he's faking how upset he is. It's never going to happen for us. Is it our life together? It's never going to happen because your mother has her hooks in your brother. You're married and we'll have a, a dozen kids. A dozen? Okay, a dozen, two dozen. Why don't you get out of here, go sort out these invitations and stay here, sort this stuff out. I don't want him to be upset, I know. you know? I know. Just go. I'll see you. Okay. Hey. You know, well, next time you get mad at us, just... Just yell. Okay, don't worry about the pain. Don't just spare us your insights, Rose. We'll talk about whose idea this really was later. I warned you. No, I warned you. Will's upset. It's not because Rose and I are getting married. It's because that woman doesn't want Rose and I to be together. She's got our little brother so wound up he doesn't know what's going on. And moving away to Paris is going to help with that? Paul, oh, right or wrong, he's caught in the middle. And you are the only one who can save him. I know what it's like to be so angry that you want to wreck things. But if you're mad at me, Will, you got to talk to me. It's okay, I'm not mad anymore. You're not. You sure? Because, you know, you have every right to be mad at me. I mean, I haven't spent enough time with you. It's to... right, you're moving. What's the point? The point is that I love you. I think it's time that Will and I go home. Hey, you want to go home? Go home. See ya. I'll drop Will off when I'm done. No, it's okay. I'll go. I'll come back tomorrow and clean your walls. No, no, no. I don't care about that. I... All I care about is you. You gotta go. I hope you're satisfied. If Will is upset, it's because you made him upset. Oh, 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 yes, yes. I'm the one marrying the showgirl from Atlantic City and running off to Paris with her. Come on, Jennifer, let's go. Mom, I'll be home later. Paul. I know you want to live your life. And I know you're sick of Mom, because so am I. But... Will is so unhappy, and he's been through so much. Couldn't you find some way to have what you want and still look out for him? I know it's a lot to ask. I know. He is extremely fragile, and it hasn't even been a year since he was in the psych ward, and if he is already acting out. <sighs> is he still talking to that psychiatrist? Paul... Well, he stole a set of keys, snuck out in the middle of the night across town, broke into your apartment and trashed the place. It doesn't take a, a shrink to see what's wrong here. He is dangerously upset with you. It feels terrible. terrible. Why? You did a terrific job. Yeah, but you saw how mad he was. But that's what we want, Will. We want your brother to understand what he's doing to us. You want him to stay here, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So stick to your story, all right? Just say you took the key out of my purse and some money. You came over here, let yourself... Mom, but I lied. You took responsibility. Mom, but I didn't do it. Now he thinks I'm insane no, or something. No, no, no. You are... <laughs> you are a perfectly wonderful normal young guy and you know what I just don't want your brother moving away it's the brotherly thing to feel that's all now what do you say we uh, go find that new video game you want and we have a little celebration you want to celebrate look you're going to save your brother from a terrible marriage and a horrible wife and in my book that's reason enough 